How to use color. The default color for shapes is gray, or hex code C4C4C4. C4, C4. But not everything needs to be in that color. Now that you understand how to create shapes, let's change the color of them to indicate different meaning. You're going to create a complex shape to indicate stop and go, but it has to be the same shape. Let's start off by creating a new frame. Select the Frame tool. Select Paper from the preset. Select Letter. I'm going to create a complex shape now. And before I do anything, I want to select all the shapes and create the union selection. It now is one shape. I'm going to duplicate the shape by selecting the shape and copying and pasting. I'm going to change the color of the first shape to indicate the color of stop. Under the design palette, I'm going to select fill, change the C4, C4, C4 to a color indicating stop. I'm now going to select the bottom shape and change that color to a color that indicates go. And there we go. Keeping the same last name project 02 file, I'm going to select just the two objects that I've created. And I can tell I've selected just the two objects because the bounding box which is the blue box around the two shapes, is selected and not around the frame. I'm now going to export them as PNG files. Make sure that your zip file is titled last name hyphen project 02A 05 before you submit to Sakai.